Mr. Tape Measure? <laughs> I was reading this study at last month's Playboy that said a man who would actually carry his tape measure on his belt really has nothing to measure. <laughs> yeah, it's a sort of a macho thing, a sexual thing, that they carry a tape measure on their belt. And I can kind of agree with that, because you put any three guys, any bar, anywhere in town, that's all they'll talk about all night long, how big they are. <laughs> and they always lie, you know they do. Now, I don't mean to embarrass you ladies right up here in this front section here, but what would you say the average length of the average man is? What would you say? <laughs> Did you hear that over there? Somebody said 15 inches. <laughs> I didn't know you had a horse race track here in uh, Phoenix area. What would you say? Take a guess. Oh, go ahead, take a guess. You must have your eyes open at least one time, huh? Because <laughs> cause you don't look Jewish, so... Uh... <laughs> Are you? Oh, well, gee. Must have been doing your nails then, huh? <laughs> what would you say? You take a guess. <laughs> it's not a game show, no prizes later. Seven? Oh, seven. That's a good guess, seven. Yeah. Well, no, apparently she's dated black men before, huh? <laughs> Talk after the show, huh, babe? <laughs> no, six is what they say the average length is, six inches. Yeah. <laughs> You ever wonder what six inches looks like? <laughs> I'll show you. That's six inches. That frighten anybody? <laughs> we know it don't frighten you. Any bar, anywhere in town, they'll swear 14 inches, 16 inches. They'd be talking a foot and a half out there if you let them. You ever wonder what 18 inches looks like? I'll show you. inches. <laughs> now come on guys, who are you really fooling now, huh? See, when guys get in the bathroom together, you know what we're doing, huh guys? Comparing. <laughs> That's right, girls. You ask any guy in this room, he's lying, he's dying. But you get five guys lined up against that urinal. I don't care if you got the Pope, the President, and three Boy Scouts. They're checking it out. It's like, hey, hey, I don't like to brag. Boom! <laughs> you could pound nails with this son of a bitch. <laughs> you guys want to help me ring it out down there? <laughs> how come you never hear women bragging how big they are? You never see a bunch of girls at a picnic someplace going, Apple. <laughs> it's a wonder my guts don't fall out. <laughs> Herbert lost his Timex up there last week. When it fell out, it was still working. It took a dick and it's still kicking. This has been Backstage Pass and Backstage in Arizona. We are a resume, a living, moving, breathing resume of some of the very best in entertainment, stretching back for years. I hope you've enjoyed the show. We do need your support. And until next time, my name's Joel Samuel. Keep those cards and letters coming. And we'll see you next time on Backstage Pass. Good night. For the children's hungry eyes And the ones who gave their lives They paid for love with flesh and bones With no voice to call their own We're silent heroes in our sight We ask you pray for us tonight Grace our ignorance instead by your wisdom will be led but we have the right to choose a gift we can't afford to lose freedom's lost by all not some when misused by only one
dry these tears that I weep when we've stopped the wrongs we've done for the sake of freedom.